what is up you guys it is your boy itachi today we're gonna be um reacting to or you know what we're gonna be watching um some um dark web animated stories uh i know it's spooky scary weekend um but i don't know if this if the audio is gonna be good so i'm not gonna be like you know if the audio is not good i'm not gonna post it um because i'm still trying to figure things out but if i did figure things out um the video should be out but welcome to spooky scary weekend i'm gonna do this quick because i don't want this intro to be really long um welcome to spooky scary weekend spooky scary weekend is the time we come together as the channel we are if my camera will freaking focus hold on if my camera will focus come on come on there we go spooky scary week is the time that we come together as the channel that we are we uh you know we go on websites creepy websites call creepy places um you know we do a whole bunch of stuff we do a whole bunch of creepy stuff um soon we're going to be um going to creepy places for spooky scary weekend um i want to say thank you to everyone that was um uh commenting and um showing love to the um i was quitting youtube video uh, i was going through some hard stuff hard times pause going through some hard times and uh you know i was just really i'm really grateful that i have people having my back here on the channel but anyway you guys let's get into the um video i'm a drug user i'll admit it weed is my usual go-to but i buy that off my friend if i want to get something a little heavier however like acid or coke i just order it off the dark web it's surprisingly simple uh, don't do drugs, kids, okay? First off, don't do drugs. Don't be like this idiot right here, okay? Don't do not do drugs, okay? Like, don't be doing injections and don't be doing Coke, you know, I mean, uh, Coca-Cola, uh, you know, YouTube, Coca-Cola. Um, you know, don't be doing that stuff, you know what I mean? Live a healthy life, you feel me? A few clicks, some Bitcoin transfers, and boom, I have acid in my P.O. box. Mm. But I'm also a curious guy. The dark web has always intrigued me. Okay. Up until a few days ago, I had only been on there to buy drugs off sites some of my friends gave me. But late one night, I was sober and at home, which was a rare thing for me. So since I was bored, I decided to boot up my tour browser and try and see what sort of messed up stuff I could find on the dark web. If you've ever been on the dark web, you'll know that you can't just search up red rooms or hitmen for hire and get results. No, you have to find links to these websites first. So I hopped back on Google in an attempt to find some links to some messed up websites. I know it's weird that I was actively searching for the worst, but as soon as I got on the dark web that night, I had this weird sense of morbid curiosity that overcame me. Anyway, Why? I spent a little while trying to find some links, but anything that I found was either too tame for me, or the links didn't even work. At mm -hmm. this point, I was ready to give up. Like, uh, welcome to the game. Yeah, we're gonna, uh, continue playing that game soon. But in one final attempt, I clicked on Reddit. I hopped on r slash deep web, but I didn't think I would find anything. I scrolled through the hot option for about half an hour before sorting to new, and that's when I found it. It was one simple text post titled Slayer's Assassination and Life Ruining Services. Why? The text box of the post was what seemed to be a random assortment of numbers and letters. It took my tired brain a second to figure out what it was, but I realized pretty quickly it was a link, presumably to a Hitman website. Yeah. So I decided to paste the link into my dark web browser, and what do you know, it worked. But before I decided to go any further, I figured I should go back to the profile to see if they have posted any other dark web links. But when I went why, back to the- Why? Why? Why would you open a link to a hitman? A freaking hitman. Like, shout out to Welcome to the Game. Like, this is stuff that we saw in Welcome to the Game. Like, this is stuff that is real. Okay? Like, sorry for pausing, but you gotta you gotta realize this, guys. This is stuff that is real in real life. Like, there's a place, like, the internet that I'm on right now, like, websites and stuff that we're on right now, like, YouTube and whatever, is the safe oh, internet. You know what I mean? Um, you know, 
websites and stuff. You know, the dark web is a total dark place, bruh. I don't know why you would open that, bruh. The post in question. The profile was deleted. Weird. Anyway, I reopened the dark web and hopped onto the site. Up along the top of the website was its name. Slayer's Assassination and Life Ruining Services. And next to it was what looked to be a skull inside of a crosshair. Mm. I chuckled when I saw it. I figured the site must have been fake. Upon scrolling down, however, I was not disappointed. There was a paragraph of white text on a black background and a small box to the right of the text that just said place an order. The text was the main part though, as it took up most of the page. It proceeded to list all the forms of killing they were able to do. Again, I laughed. This had to be satire, right? Hell, I was even tempted to order it on someone just to see what would happen. Well, well, what? What? Are you, are you this, that dumb? You know the deep web's real. You know the dark web's real. And you're just like, eh, you know, let me click through this website and let me, you know, you know, let, let me pay this guy to kill someone I know just to see if it's a joke. No, 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 no. You, this dude is aware that this is, you know, real. You feel me? But he's too much, like, he's, you know, he's joking around too much. Bruh. Better not to risk it, though, I thought to myself. I was about to close my computer and call it a night when I heard a knock at the door. Yeah, dead. I You're live dead. alone, so it was unusual to get visitors, especially so late at night. But when I opened my door, it was just my good buddy Mark, who mm. also happened to be my weed plug. As I opened the door, he didn't hesitate to let himself in and shove a huge bag full of pot in my face. Why does he look like the white version of Snoop Dogg, bro? Like, like, tell me, like, editor me, put a, put a picture of Snoop Dogg and this dude together. His, uh, you know, you know, his plug, um, beside each other. Why does he look like a white version of, uh, Snoop Dogg? Like, he said he got a really expensive kind and asked if I wanted to try some with him. I couldn't say no. Cut to a couple hours later. It's early morning and Mark and I are chilling on my couch both completely out of it at this point. He suddenly decides to get up, and I assume he's going to get some leftover pizza, but he walks over to my desk and computer. Slayer's assassination? Are you gonna kill someone or something? He mutters. What? I replied. Your computer, dude. It's got some hacker stuff on it. It's the dark web, man. Don't mess with it. I said. At this point, I'm still on my couch, half asleep and not paying full attention. However, I sat up pretty fast when I heard the words, Hey dude, let's order a hitman on you. I got up and walked over to my PC. Oh, Part of my brain was no. screaming. Oh, Hexton, no, you gotta go. You gotta, you gots to go, bruh. You gots to go 100%. If you're like, let's order a hitman on you, bro, you just got to go. No, but at the same time, with the state I was in, the majority of my brain was thinking about how funny it would be to order a hitman on myself. No, So I agree. At the end, after I wrote down all my personal details, you what? This man, this man, I th what 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 is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What this bro put in his address, bro put in his first name, last name, freaking. Phone number, email, put every single thing, bruh. This is why, you know, there's some people that can't be on the internet, bro. There's just, there's just some people that just can't be on the internet. Like my address, my age, and even a photo of me. I had to no. select what I wanted to happen to me. I just selected plain old assassination, as it was actually cheaper than some of the other things. What? Anyway. I placed the sucker nine hundred and fifty dollars is not cheap, dude. That is a lot of money. I could buy myself. I don't know what I could buy with that. Probably an Xbox, a brand new, like a fresh out new PlayStation, bro. Order and then replied to the confirmation email, and boom, it was done. A couple clicks, and I had ordered myself a hitman on the dark web. Mark and I laughed for a while, but then he left about an hour later, and I fell asleep not too long after. He's dead. I woke up around 9 a.m., which meant I got at least six hours of sleep, even if I felt like I got three. 
I got up out of bed and brewed myself a coffee before sitting down to play some games and just enjoy my Sunday. But you can imagine how shocked I was when I saw I had ordered my own death the previous night. Even though I thought the sight was BS, I still felt a pit open up in my stomach. Even when I'm high, I can usually make sensible decisions. I chuckled, not like I could remember it anyway. I would assume a normal human being would do something else, but I was still kind of out of it from the night before, so I just carried on with my day. I was a little paranoid, sure, but as I said, I just assumed it was BS. I even laughed at the email I got from the website, saying that the hitman had been dispatched and was on its way. Later that night, a blacked out sedan parked on the other side of the road from my house. I didn't see it arrive, but around the time I started to cook myself some dinner, I noticed it out the kitchen window. Now, I didn't live in a rural area, but there were a lot of trees and bushes between each of the houses on my street, so I would be surprised if any other house saw the car except for mine. At this point, I was freaking out. What if the sight was real? Even though- Yeah, 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 now you're scared. Now you're scared. Bruh, now you're scared. That now that a hitman is physically at your doorstep, waiting to kill you, bruh. Like, you asked for this. You asked for these problems. I'm a big guy. I was still freaking out. I don't own any weapons, aside from a slightly larger than average kitchen knife. Screw it. I'm confronting it, I decided. I put on a hoodie and slid Why? the kitchen knife into my Why? front pocket before walking out. He, he, like, like, does this character not, like, think? Why would you go out to the car? The dude is a hitman. Bro's probably got guns, probably got, like, poison tranquilizers, whatever, to kill you or kidnap you to, or to do his job that you paid your own money for. This, you're gonna go out with a little tiny puny knife with God knows what the dude has in the car could probably kill you, put you in the back of the trunk, and make you disappear to make you not exist. Like, does our character, does this character not get, like, get the, you know, the, the mission? You feel me? Like, I would have stayed in the house, locked all the doors, you know, if he comes up to the house, then we get the knife, or we get a weapon. The, he, like, the dude did not show any signs of, you know, you know, walking up to the house, like, if he was maybe banging on the door i would start and trying to break down the door i would have brought the knife out and you know put my hood up and you know try to want to defend myself but why would you walk out to the car bruh out of my house and right up to the driver's side window of the vehicle oh. even i was astonished at my own courage i knocked on the window but nothing happened it was rather anticlimactic. I was fully prepared to have a fight for my life all because i did something really dumb while i was high off my mind but, like I said, nothing happened. I even put my head right up to the window, as if there was a reflection, to try and get a better look to see what was inside. I could barely see anything, but I could make out two empty seats. No one was even inside. I had got all hyped up for nothing. I decided to wait out by the car for a bit, but after half an hour or so, I was hungry and had to go back inside to take my dinner out of the oven. I swear, it was only a minute between me going inside to take my dinner out of the oven and looking back out of the window, that the car was gone. I didn't even hear it leave. Guess I'm eating my dinner with all my curtains closed and doors locked, I muttered to myself. I had just started to calm down when the power shut off. Oh. And coupled with the car, I now knew this was the real deal. I had signed my own death warrant. I ran into my upstairs bedroom and locked the door. I then hid under the bed. I figured I couldn't call the cops. What would I say? That I ordered a hitman on myself? That's a great idea! I, I'm with that! So I yeah, you could say that. Or, you could stay in the house and die. That's, that's your... And be underneath the bed, like a little child. Bruv, like a little girl. Hey, you asked for these problems, bruh. I know you were a little... You know, you were a little messed up, but, you know, there was multiple things that said, hey, there's a hitman coming after you. You had multiple options. You could have emailed the dude and been like, hey, I was, you know, I was on some, you know, I was up in the sky. You know what I mean? I was high as a kite. You know what I mean? Uh, You know, me, no disrespect. Let me get a refund on that. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think they would do it because I don't think the dark web does that. 
but um hey you signed up you signed up for these problems cuz oh, I just stayed hiding under my bed and I still am now I've been here for about an hour now I know I'm screwed just a minute ago I heard my back door slowly creak open mm. He's done. You're done, Noah. You're done. Yep. Yep. This, this is the hate man? This is him. This is who we paid to, 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 to kill us? Or not us. The, the character? Like, you could have done better, my G. It proves, guys. There's a lot of dumb people in this world. It, there's, it proves it, bruh. Like, there's a lot of dumb people. Like, bro did not need to, to you know, order a hitman. I understand. Now, there's going to be some people out there to be like, hey, yo, he was a little messed up. But listen, next day he wasn't messed up and he got an email saying that, you know, you know, you have a hitman coming after him, and he's dispatched. You know what I mean? But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this spooky, scary weekend. I know spooky, scary weekends are getting a little bit short. Um, I might do another spooky, scary weekend. We might get a double upload of spooky, scary weekend, but it's not going to be reaction. It's going to be um, a, a phone calling one. Uh, I just got to find a couple. I need to find numbers and stuff like that and plan it out. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave a like to subscribe to join our family, to join our channel here on YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.